Japan is about customs and traditions. I'd like to share with you my experience in a sumo tournament, how they fight, how they interact with fans, and even what they eat. The day started by taking a train to Ryokoku Station, location of the Sumo Stadium. As soon as I got off the train, the atmosphere was unmistakably Sumo. Built in 1985, the Ryokoku Sumo Hall, or known as Ryokoku Koku Gikan, can accommodate up to 10,000 visitors. The stadium opened its gate at 8.30 a.m. Typically, the lower division wrestlers compete in the morning, thus the stands were mostly empty. Most fans were outside the stadium socializing, drinking beer and enjoying yakitori. Typically, they will file into the stadium after lunchtime when the higher division wrestlers compete. I had time to get acquainted with sumo rituals and terminologies. The referee is called the Gyoji. Yopadashi is the announcer. He also functions as the usher, as well as helping to keep the ring tidy. <laughs> Although bouts often ended within a few seconds, there were some that were more entertaining. If the result is undecisive, the referee can summon the five ringside judges to a conference. If the matter is still undecided, they will request for a rematch. Sumo is a sport of rituals and customs. The wrestlers often took their time in their rituals and posturing before the actual fight begins. As a first-time visitor, I explore this iconic stadium to learn of its history and legends. By chance, I also found the entrance where the wrestlers came and went. If you still can't get enough of your favorite wrestler, you can check out the sumo and shop from a variety of souvenirs. In Japan, wrestlers such as Atami Fuji are revered and idolized. I have been eating like a champ for the past two weeks in Japan, and yet I'm nowhere near their physiques. Visitors can get a taste of what the sumo wrestlers really eat. For just 500 yen, you can get a delicious bowl of chanko nabe. Chenko is a stew made of chicken or dashi broth, filled with proteins such as vegetables, tofu, and meat. As a picky eater, I was very surprised by how delicious it was. After a bowl of chenko, it's back to the tournament. The higher divisions compete in the afternoon, and the actions were quite entertaining.
Bouts between higher-ranked wrestlers also brought out the sponsors in the form of banners being paraded around the ring. The tournament can last up to nine hours each day, and it gave me time to explore other parts of the stadium, such as the Sumo Museum. The museum is filled with history, legends, and relics from the past. Once the wrestlers are finished with the competition, they tend to be more interactive with the fans. Did I mention I really liked the chanko? Well, since there was no lines at 4 p.m., I went for a second serving. There are many ways to enjoy the sumo experience. Okay, face down a little bit. Yeah, face down. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, good. It's back to the stadium to finish up the last of the competitions for the day. Did I mention there are a lot of rituals and posturing involved in sumo? As the competition for the day ended, there is a traditional bow twirling ceremony. A bow is twirled to drive away evil spirits in the air. The digging motion symbolizes the same for demons in the ground. The Sumo tournament has been a fantastic experience. Now I'm even more inspired to eat my way through Japan. Thanks for watching. Please check out my other travel videos, including those from Japan.